right, you guys, welcome back. Today is October 20th, it's Friday. We are 15 days out from 2023, Mr. Olympia. As you guys can see, I am finally back home with my family here in Rockland, California. Uh, I spent the last six and a half weeks in Denver preparing for the Olympia, and now I'm finishing prep back home with my family. Um, you guys, it's, it's been an amazing process. It's been an amazing journey. I'm just really happy to be home and uh, finish where it started and um, it's crunch time. You know, this is, this past week has probably been the hardest week for me. I always say to everybody, all my clients, weeks three and week two are the hardest weeks, physically and mentally, the diet's getting really low. Um, the last seven days I've actually been on low carb. Yesterday was my lowest carb day. I was hurting pretty bad yesterday. So uh, good news is today's a refeed. As you guys can see, I just got done wrapping up cardio. I've spent a lot of time doing cardio this prep. <laughs> I think I've missed two cardio sessions only because my coach instructed me to take those days off in the past 16 weeks. But I really enjoy my cardio, you guys. Um, in that time, that 50 minutes in the morning, it really just helps me set the tone for my day. And I truly believe this, the past um, 16 weeks of doing my cardio in the morning and having my set routine where I get up and start my day with some scripture and watching some services and really connecting with God has really helped elevate me in so many ways during this prep. It's actually fueled me and given me the strength that I needed to push through. You know, I've talked about this in previous videos that there was a lot of uncertainty with this prep. I had a lot of doubt in myself. There was a huge, huge mount to climb. And at the beginning of this prep, I didn't possess the strength or courage or power to do this alone. So, you know, I really trusted the Lord to give me the strength when I felt weak. And when things got tough, you know, I confided in Him for comfort. And, you know, I can honestly say that my relationship with Christ has gotten so much stronger over these past four months. And being able to connect with Him and draw my strength through Him during these crucial times in my life has been a, a pivotal moment because, you know, the person I was to gain this prep isn't the person that's sitting before you right now. And uh, I owe that, all, all that to God and what he's been able to do for me and the lessons he's taught me along this prep. So, you know, I encourage you guys, if, you know, if you're, if you're looking for a good way to start your day, you know, there's no better way than to start your day with the Lord. And he will guide you throughout your days like he's done me and he'll lead me along the way and he's going to make you a better person inside and out. And um, I'm just really thankful. It's crazy because at this time in prep, it's always so hard. Baby, do you want some attention? You got Nutella all over your face. <laughs> You want a napkin? Here, come over here. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, baby. You know, this type of prep usually is a pretty dark time, you know? You're struggling mentally, physically, you're hurting. You know, it really challenges you on so many levels, but this time around, it's just been all around a pretty pleasant experience. Like, I'm waking up feeling good, feeling happy, feeling motivated. And um, it just kind of shows the growth that I've gone through this this whole prep, how I handle situations, how you know I'm handling my emotions, and it's been amazing to see. I'm really excited, looking forward to the final 15 days of this prep. I'm obviously looking forward to today. Today I get a repeat day and a cheat meal. 15 days out getting a cheat meal. That's what happens when you work hard. That's what happens when you get in shape early. Um, we're gonna be filling up today. We're gonna be seeing how my body responds to the additional food. We're really trying to figure out how we're gonna time the peak to bring out my best on stage on November 4th. So these leading the next few days, we're gonna be testing foods, seeing how my body loads up, seeing what nutrients are needed to give me that, that maxed out look. So uh, not much more to say, but it's time to eat. I haven't had bread in a while, so I'm actually really looking forward to this right now. I've been doing about 150 grams of carbs a day on my normal low day, and I'm dropping weight on that. Yesterday, we dropped down to only two carb meals, so my carbs were done at 11 o'clock yesterday. I took in under 100 grams of carbs. And I can tell you what, last night, I struggled so much to sleep because of the hunger pains. I was up till like 3 a.m. just tossing and turning. Usually, I drop like six pounds in my sleep. Last night, I only dropped like three and a half because of lack of sleep. So I actually woke up at 184 this morning. Yesterday I was 182.6. Um, and that's probably just because of the lack of sleep I got, but nonetheless, I'm pretty freaking tight right now. So now it's just a matter of filling it out, getting those muscles to pop. And once I start filling those muscles up, the muscles will volumize and push more against the skin, give it more of a round, fuller look. But that's just part of the process, just flattening out to get lean.
so freaking hungry. I haven't had any carbs since like 11 o'clock yesterday. It's only spent, been 22 hours. Bad. Paul's here. What's up, dude? How you doing? Oh my gosh. So tired. I got like two hours of sleep. Let me get this in real quick. I'm starving. Oh yeah. My first carbs in 23 hours. Oh my gosh. Mm. How many um, energy drinks did you have? Like three <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have any. No. You get three or four energy drink tests now? No, maybe. You guys have seen Paul in my videos before. My buddies. What up? Finally, we Ooh. got. Finally, you guys, we got some apparel for you. Dope! I'm excited to see these. Yeah, this is sick. I made um, I made one for you and Stacia too, so you guys can rock them together, be all twins and stuff. Nice. Got, right. got gym on the agenda and everything today, or what? In and out to my agenda today. I saw those shish kebabs you had last, uh, yesterday. Oh, the, the shrimp kebabs? Yeah. Yes. Those were nothing special, bro. Oh, I'm saying this out Everybody's nice to me. Oh, it's so, it looks so good. I'm like, everybody shut up. You know what looks good? Bologna and cheese sandwich. That's what looks good. That looks good. That literally, this is literally doing nothing to me. I'm starving. So how many scotty grams uh, carbs are you doing today? I'm gonna do like 540, 550. So, now I so I'm doing 400 clean and then a cheat meal. Because yeah. we're gonna load up again tomorrow. We're just gonna see how I respond. I might eat more, just depends on how I fill out today. Uh -huh. This is gonna be reading my body and seeing what hits and what doesn't. But I'm gonna keep it clean all day except for the cheat meal. The strawberry doesn't look very sweet. <laughs> it's the whitest strawberry I've ever seen. You got a booger. <laughs> she likes to, she'll be like, here, daddy. I'm like, what, what is it? And she goes, here. I put my hand out. She puts a booger in my hand. What the? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's see what these look like. It's 11 o'clock right now. I just finished up um, doing a little mini shoot for Father Sons. Second meal, my refeed. We got 160 grams of fish and 300 grams of uh, red potato. I was telling my video guy, beginning of prep, I would have dreaded eating this meal just because of the volume and it being boring. But after being low for seven days, this is so good right now. The carbs, but they mostly touch your mouth. Mm. Next week, we're probably gonna go low again, but we're getting close, so it's getting exciting. I've been suffering the last past week. I'm ready to suffer some more. No big deal. Everything's coming together, and every bite of food that I take can just make my physique better, so that's what I've been thinking. Finally hit 3.7 million. Been at 3.6 for almost two years, so it's been cool to see it go up. Shrimps on the menu. He's on the barbecue right now. Just about done. Uh, three. 160 shrimp, 300 rice, down a tablespoon of olive oil. Let's get this down. This is the pre workout meal. Got shoulders today. Fifteen days out, man. It feels good to finally be back at Jet Culture here in Rockland. This is my childhood friend's gym. I grew up next door neighbors to this guy since he was like two and a half years old. So uh, 
It's good to have my buddies around me. They're not here right now, but I was here yesterday. It was good to have them around me. And after not seeing me for a few weeks, to uh, see the reaction, it made me feel good. But um, no, if you guys haven't, if you guys are around my area, come check out Jad Culture. They, I just had him, I just asked him after six months to put the hex lighting in. He did it the day we left for Denver. So I'm pumped because we're gonna have some dope lighting in the videos. Not that it was terrible before, but definitely elevated things. Got some new hammer strength equipment. Got a new leg extension. I didn't do legs here because they didn't have a leg extension machine. So now I got no excuse to do legs here. Five for five, the comeback. The cross, man. God's led me the way the whole, this whole time. So all the glory goes to him. <clears throat> feel good right now. Three meals, carbs. I got like 250 grams of carbs in me right now. All clean carbs. I already see my arms are pushing pretty good. I don't even got a pump yet. Let's start with some uh, presses. I haven't been using very many dumbbells or free weight. I've been sticking mostly machines, but I think we'll do some dumbbells today. It's going not to go too heavy. Starting to flatten out a little bit, starting to get hungry. Definitely not as full as I'd like to be, but I am definitely the driest I've been all prep, which is a good sign. We still got a lot more food to come in the next two days, so very good spot right now, you guys. Ugh. Ugh. 
All right, that's a wrap for the day, you guys. Post-workout meal, and guess what's one hour after that? Internet burger. Yes. So hungry. Not sure if I want to eat it there or bring it home. It's Friday. It'll be like five, it'll be 5.30. It'll be busy, so we're probably gonna bring it home and challenge Sanjay to eat as much as me. I'm having fun, you guys. It's hard, prep is hard, prep sucks, but I'm really embracing the process, you know. I love the challenge. It, it, it forces you to rise up, and that's exactly what I did as I rose up this whole prep, overcame a lot of things, and uh, the best version of myself I've ever been. I can thank the man that died on this cross for me. He's changed my life for the better. And now he's blessed me with a cheap meal. Let's go. for over 25 years. Really? Yeah. Original owners? Yeah, it's wow. 1997. Really good. These real BBS and everything? Yeah. Two two by ones, animal style, and two orders of fries. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one more cheeseburger with raw onion. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. Thank you, man. Daddy is so excited right now. That's the best taste of all prep. Probably only gonna eat two, but I got an extra one just in case I was still hungry. I know she'll eat it if I don't eat it. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Mmm. I mean, I'm eating this right now. Two weeks out, and I'm not even worried about it. I just know it's gonna do me good. I mean, I've been eating so good. I mean, I'm so perfect on my diet that I'm allowed to do stuff like this. So in a normal prep, when would you start eating like that? Like Usually people start dieting like 12 weeks out, maybe 14, 16 weeks out. I start doing it at 20 weeks oh. out. Jonas commented on my stories. He's like, damn bro, why don't you eat some burgers and fries? Cause I, I you just, so you say that somebody's in shape. I always tell Brandon, to go, I always tell Brandon to go eat some ice cream. Hey Brandon, you look good, you should go eat some ice cream. <laughs> I was like, it is, it's actually my next meal. He's like, damn bro, I'm jealous. He goes, you worked hella hard to get in that type of shape where you can still eat like that. If you eat that whole thing, bro, I'll be very impressed. I don't know, you're gonna be taller than Sanjay by next week. Stacy's been dieting too. The past four, four six weeks. Here. Yeah, I started at six All right, well that meal was glorious. <laughs> we are 15 days out from 2023, Mr. Olympia. Finally back home with my family. Um, that's what today looked like. You know, uh, I don't have any more, 
much more plans for the rest of the evening. Just gonna be hanging out with these two. Maybe watch a movie. I got one more meal. Probably eat that around nine o'clock. Yeah, nine, about nine o'clock. It's probably gonna be egg whites and some oatmeal. Maybe a little bit of almond butter. But um, yeah, that was, with that, that might bring my daily totals around, I think 540 grams of carbs roughly. <laughs> but I'm feeling good, feeling a lot fuller. Um, we'll find out when I wake up looking like tomorrow morning. So um, I'm probably gonna be continuing to eat a little bit more in the first half of the day tomorrow. But hopefully uh, by tomorrow, a few meals into the day, I'll be hitting that that maxed out full look that we're looking for for the stage. So uh, time will tell. I will see you guys next time. Yeah, I told her if she's fat, she can't yeah. come to Olympia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start telling you. Can't put that in. <laughs> Can you imagine people? Put that in. People know I'm joking, right? <laughs>